Hi, everybody. This is Advocate Lucinda, your empowerment lawyer. I was talking with a pro se, and she was telling me some things that what an attorney told her about all the things that would happen if she were to file a lawsuit. And I want to talk about that today. I want to share with you some of the things that attorneys say. And I'm sure you've heard some of these things. And I want to encourage you today. Yes, filing a lawsuit, there is a cost that the pro se litigant has to pay. But let me assure you that it's doable. So let's just look at some of the costs that these litigants have to pay. So let's get started. Pro se, before you jump in and decide to go through with this, be aware of what you face. I agree. You have to know what you are going to face, true. Employment discrimination cases are the most difficult cases to win in federal court. Again, this is true. And this is not to discourage you, but this is just to show you what the costs are. In fact, I read somewhere where 10, no more than 15% of the cases are won in these employment discrimination cases. So be encouraged and believe that you could be one of those 15 percenters. These cases are highly technical and the law is complicated. You know that's the truth. I have been practicing law for over 28 years and I've said to you many times, Litigation is difficult. And, and those of you who are going through this, who have filed a lawsuit, you are experiencing this now. I know you are because I've talked to many pro se about their lawsuit and they're finding it difficult, but they're also finding that it's doable. So although it is technical and complicated, you can do it. There's a cost that you have to pay. So let's move on. You will be doing it by yourself up against law firms that have almost unlimited budgets and resources. Now, you know that's true too. And that doesn't mean that you can't hang in there. You just have to work more, work harder. You know, I always encourage pro se's to find you someone who could help you to review your case, who can help you, who can help you conduct research, you know, find yourself a consultant. That individual could help you with parts of your case. It would take the load off of you and, and they're reasonable. Okay. So get some help. You need to be aware of the very long odds you face and the emotional toll it will take on you. I have heard from many pro se who are just emotionally broken. It, yes. Well, guess what? Even as a seasoned attorney, it gets to me emotionally sometimes too, but I know how to manage it. You've got to learn to manage your emotionalness. You know, can I give you some hints? Take yourself a nap every now and then. Don't sit at your computer all day. Don't work all day. Take a walk, take a break. Go to the mall, walk. Don't be so obsessed with your case that you are ignoring your emotional state. It needs to be taken care of, okay? Now, here is what I always say, and I believe it. While litigation is difficult, 
It's doable. I always say the facts and the law. No pro se should ever think about filing a lawsuit unless they know their facts and the law. And then the third part of that is presentation, getting it to the court. Facts plus law plus presentation will go a long way with litigation, getting it to the court in a manner where the court can be convinced that your lawsuit should go to trial. You know, I have had many pro se to say that the judge and the attorney at times, they talk to them in a condescending manner and they're rude to them and just are mean spirited, you know? And I know what they're talking about because I've had that to happen to me in my work as an attorney. But you know, one of the things about people, when people can't talk to you, but rather talk about you, they really don't have anything to say that's important. It's really a strategy to get you off course and get you off focus. So when you find yourself, or if you should find yourself in that situation, you just sift it. You sift it and just keep moving. Stay focused. And if you get something wrong, fix it. If it's plausible, it's amendable. Don't ever feel ashamed or embarrassed about asking the court to permit you to amend your complaint. Don't ever be concerned that the judge might be angry if you ask the court to permit you to amend your complaint. Because plausibility means that there are material facts to support your argument. If it's plausible, then it's amendable. And certainly don't be intimidated should the defense attorney threaten you. Stay focused and keep moving. And at all times, remember, be respectful, be kind, be the bigger person in the room. I've said that before, okay? I also want to say there are judges who are fair and will treat you with dignity and respect. How do I know that? Because most of the judges, I would say, man, other than three, maybe three or four, in my career, these judges have been fair and they have treated me with dignity and respect. So let's not put judges in a box. No, all judges are not going to treat you unfairly. There are wonderful judges out there and we want to respect them. We may not agree with their decisions, that's why we have the ability to appeal. And if we feel like a judge has not been fair and has broken the conduct for judges and attorneys, and that goes for attorneys too, there are avenues for individuals to file complaints against a judge and an attorney. My point here is, at all times, treat them with dignity and respect, okay? There are also defense attorneys who will treat you with dignity too and respect. How do I know? Because I have worked with defense attorneys who have treated me with dignity and respect. One attorney in particular down in Georgia when I was practicing in Georgia, 
we had this, it was a huge police misconduct case. And she was so cordial. She was so friendly. And we worked together very well. She realized that they had a problem with their case. And we ended up settling the case even before we conducted discovery. So be kind to the defense attorney. You don't have to let, I'm not, I'm not saying let them walk all over you, but be kind. Always be kind and respectful to that attorney. And if they misuse you or abuse you again, there are avenues you can take to address their conduct. Always remember this. No one has a patent on knowledge. You can learn just like that defense attorney. You can research just like that defense attorney. You have every right to file a lawsuit in court. Facts, law, presentation. Make sure that your presentation is so tight, as we would say, that it convinces the court that you should be granted the relief that you ask for. Knowledge is free to anyone who's willing to search for it and who's willing to work for it. So, oh, it's doable. I have talked to pro se litigants who won their case. So be encouraged. I hope this has really helped you. If you are thinking about filing a lawsuit, count up the cost. Are the facts and the law on your side? Are you able to present this to the court? Get you some help. Find a consultant to help you along the way with parts of your case. Don't be alone in this. If you have to talk to someone to assist you with keeping your mental health healthy, emotionally, you want to be healthy. You are not alone in this. There are hundreds of pro se litigants who are in the position that you are in or the position you're about to get in. And I'm here. If you have any questions, you can reach me at adjunctlaw at gmail.com and I will make my best. I will do my best to refer you. I also provide consultations. You can make a consultation with me. Just contact me at adjunctlaw at gmail.com. All right. Count up the costs. And remember though, it's doable. So we will see you next time on Advocate Lucinda, your empowerment lawyer. Take care.